First of all, let me say that I'm very happy with the crushed stone driveway. Um, you may have seen me using the old wore out mower deck as a drag to smooth this out. Before I did that, when I would drive across it, I could feel it bumping like this. Now when I drive across it, it's just very smooth. It makes it nice for driving and walking on. I think that was the right thing to do. Uh, today is Friday. On Saturday, we're having a neighborhood party here. It's something we started doing a couple years ago. Just invited everyone on the street to come over and do a potluck here. And uh, we missed it last year because of the whole COVID thing. So kind of excited about doing it this year. I'm gonna get out this morning and cut the grass. And obviously I'm gonna to wanna to cut the grass so that it doesn't blow onto the new stone. And that's something I'm gonna do every time. In fact, I've kind of been, I've kind of been planning it that way. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna have some grass that's gonna blow up on here. So I've sort of planned it so that I can come through with the grass blowing in and round this whole corner where this bush is. I may have to do some weed whacker trimming around those two over there, but uh, I think we can manage it and uh, I'll get started on that All right now. like right in here and actually this is a pretty good place to look and see the difference between what this looks like before and what it looks like after we put the new pea gravel down um, actually all this stuff here that's got grass grown over that was all originally stone like 57 and uh, I'm gonna try to stop the grass from growing there. Over here, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. But the biggest thing is where we come out of the house, go down the ramp, go into the she shed, I want that part to be nice, and especially that part that ties the driveway in with this. So that's what I'm gonna start working on now. Y'all can watch. I just feed that there, I'll go get another load or two or three and then I'll come back and spread it all at once. By the way, I moved, well I cut the grass this morning for one thing, and then I moved the grill, had the barbecue grill here, and I thought well, why 
would it be good there because it sits right in front of the house and it's not that attractive even though it is a nice smoker grill that Josh gave me. So I put it over there on the end and it's on the gravel. So, uh, you know, it's not on the grass where I have to move it every time I cut the grass. And Honey Baby's gonna be smoking a, uh, I think she's picking up a bork bud or something like that today. And we're gonna be smoking that for the party tomorrow and slow cook, so. Uh, yeah, so I did that and now I'm doing this. I hope y'all are having a good day, whatever you're doing. And if you're not, I hope you can get over it. Because, God golly, it ain't no fun to have a bad day. That's just me speaking from experience right there. That's what I'll say. That's what I say. That's what I say. So, Honey Baby came home. Uh, we had taken Charlie to the vet today. He's got some things that we've noticed that don't seem right. So, And, uh, you know, we found out what is probably causing those things. Uh, and you know what the treatment would be and a lot of it we can treat with diet some of it might require some dental work which is means putting him to sleep which you're a little nervous about but uh, anyway while, while she was telling me about that I went ahead and spread that pile of gravel and you can see where it's you know I can make it into a nice even place to walk from here to here without having to step up or down on either of these That'll make it a little easier for Charlie too. He won't have to kind of jump up to the end of the ramp. He'll be able to walk right up on it yeah, and right off of it. So that's yeah, good. So I'll load another load, dump it right there, and then once I get that dumped, I can get my uh, pink flamingo flamingos out and put them back, stuff like that. Oh joy. <laughs> 